thought. Hi there. My name is James, a teacher of mathematics of many years. Uh, our lesson today is on uh, Form 3 work in mathematics. And we want to look at completing the square. Later, we are going to see how we can solve quadratic equations by the completing the square method. And much later, we will derive the quadratic uh, formula by the same completing the square method. So we would like to lay a foundation for uh, applying the completing the square method in solving quadratic uh, equations. The objectives for our lesson are one, to square quadratic expressions and two, to complete given incomplete squares. So let's now move to our first objective and square this uh, expression. We would like to square this expression. And you see this means we multiply x plus 2 by itself twice. From our form 2 knowledge of quadratic expressions, we can square this one either by distributing or straight away by squaring x, then multiplying the x by 2 and doubling, and then squaring 2. Let us use that uh, the second uh, method, where we square x, then we multiply this and double, so that we have 4x and then square two, and that will give us um, x squared plus four x plus four. Let's square one more, and then we look at how we can now complete the square. Having known that x plus two squared gives us that, and uh, x plus three squared gives us x squared, plus 6x plus 9. That is following the same <coughs> order. Then we can see some sort of a pattern such that if the 4 was left out or the 9 was left out, we would still be able to get it by looking at this. We could uh, even work out one more. so that the pattern becomes clearer. And this one becomes um, x squared. 7x doubled becomes 14x, plus the square of 7, which is 49. So we are through with our first objective. We wanted to see how we can square. And we want to use the same expressions. But this time, we will assume we do not have the last part. So we now go to the completing the square. We will be given the same expressions, but without the last part. Because completing the square means uh, 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 working out the last part of an incomplete square. These are squares. So we can make the squares incomplete and then complete them. So the first one becomes 
um, x squared plus 4x plus we don't we, we, we do not know what is here if we are able to look for a way of getting this last part and get it correct as 4 then we would have known how to complete the square like I said there is a pattern if you look at this 4 the 4 can be obtained by uh, adding to 4x a half of the coefficient of the middle term. You see we have the first term, the middle term and the last term. So you will discover from here that if we added, for instance here, 4 over 2 whole squared, we would get x squared plus 4x plus 4. I want to repeat that, that we will be adding a half of the coefficient of the middle term squared. A half of the coefficient of middle term of the coefficient of the middle term all that squared and that's why we said the, the coefficient of the middle term in this case is 4 we got a half of it and we squared it and it gives us 4 let's see whether this applies to the others let us complete the square for uh, we, if we are given this, complete the square x squared plus 6x. We are given that and we are asked to complete the square. So we are going to say x squared plus 6x plus dash. But we know that this dash is going to be a half of 6 squared. So we will add 6 divided by 2 squared. And that gives us x squared plus 6x plus 9. Which takes us back to what we had. We can uh, confirm further with the last expression. Oh yeah, we would like to complete the square once more. For x squared plus 14x, x squared plus 14x. And this will give us, therefore, x squared plus 14x uh, plus 14 over 2 squared. And this finally becomes x squared plus 14x plus 49. So we've seen how we can complete the square of a given incomplete quadratic expression. And that is all for today. Remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can join me as we discuss how we can solve a quadratic equation by the completing the square method and later use the same to get the formula for solving quadratic equations.